Leading theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has spent his career analyzing time. He believes a working time machine is inevitable. We now believe that space and time are not invisible. They're actually a fabric, a fabric that can be stretched, pulled, and perhaps even wrapped up into knots. If so, then perhaps the dream of time travel is not as preposterous as it sounds. To build a time machine, we must find a way to manipulate this space-time fabric. Many scientists believe that it's this manipulation that will make time travel not only possible, but inevitable. Geneva, Switzerland. This is CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, home of the world's largest particle accelerator. Scientists from 85 different countries study the subatomic world to understand how the universe works. At this space age facility, they have been carrying out time travel experiments for more than 40 years. A useful time travel particle is the muon. Muons are high energy particles produced by cosmic rays which constantly bombard the Earth's atmosphere. Muons live for only about a millionth of a second. Here in CERN, scientists use speed to make these subatomic particles live longer, ultimately turning them into time travelers. Giant accelerators like this one at CERN push the muons to velocities approaching the speed of light. If we have a muon traveling in a ring at close to the speed of light, its lifetime is prolonged. That means that the clock which the muon is is ticking slowly, slowly, slowly. So when the muon comes back, it has only gone through tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, while we have gone tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. So in a sense, the muon is coming to our future because only one second has elapsed for the muon, 20 seconds has elapsed, have elapsed for us. By slowing down the rate of time, scientists enable muons to time travel into the future. The main problem with using speed to time travel is that we can't move an object anywhere near to the speed of light. It would take all the Earth's energy resources just to push our rocket to a tiny fraction of the speed of light. But you wouldn't notice any difference unless you got very close to the speed of light itself. We simply don't have enough energy. And there's another problem. Using speed to build a time machine is a one-way journey into the future. Traveling close to the speed of light will enable time travel to the future, but the time traveler has not mastered time. He has merely slowed down his own rate of time and fast forwarded himself through time. He wouldn't be able to come back to tell his tale. 